Ultraman, Wolverine, Stormtroopers. No, it's not Halloween, it's just Cosfest 10.1, the largest cosplay convention in Singapore. But wait, what's Yam Army doing here? We're here at Dimaki Downtown East for Cosfest 10.1, which is at its 10th year running. So let's go check out what's all the rage. Cosplay fanatics not just from Singapore but also Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines and Korea gathered here all decked out in their weirdest and most elaborate costumes hoping to hog the limelight. Some were just hanging around, while others went on stage to perform or join competitions like World Cosplay Summit Singapore and Asia Cosplay Meet Championship. The two-day event drew over 13,000 visitors including fans and an army of photographers who came down to snap away at their favourite cosplay characters from video games, movies, comic books and anime. We've seen all kinds of costumes here today but this is definitely unconventional but it's hyper-local. Guess who I found? Mr. Yam Army. Why did you decide to portray this costume? Because... Yam Ali is now a very famous and well-respected idol. Is that the reason you decided to uh, put on this mask today? Yes. How much did you spend for your whole costume? All of these were from old clothes and hand-me-downs. So, more or less nothing. One very important question. Can you actually do the pursuant to section 49 for me? I shall try. Pass one to section 49. Subsection 7E. Paragraph A. Of the Parliamentary Elections Act. I declare I'm awesome. Awesome. Now let's go roam the grounds and talk to some of the other cosplay characters who catch our eye. Hey, what's up? Yo. So so, what is your character? What's character you playing? Uh, basically, I'm cosplaying as this character in the movie The Sniper. Basically, uh, me and my bunch of uh, group of friends, uh, we are very interested in character cosplay. So I uh, chose this character because I like Sniper. Why did you choose to play Wolverine of all the characters? Is he your favourite character? Yeah. After watching the very first uh, movie, I've been liking and trying my best to find the set of costume. Costume itself is about uh, three, four hundred. The claws, hundred US. Take a look at the claws. Stainless steel. Stainless steel. So this is the sand trooper and this is the storm trooper. What's the difference between the two costumes? Isn't it obvious? Yours more dirty. <laughs> that's the that's the only. Okay, okay, okay. We are the bad guys. You are the bad guys. That's so there's a Darth Vader somewhere here. Yes. He is on leave today. Darth Vader is on leave today. Yes, today is Sunday. He's resting at home. Oh right. Okay. Okay. Where is your blaster? My blaster is at home. You left your blaster at home. Yes. What kind of sand trooper leaves their blaster? Speaker to travel on the train. Right. So how come he has his blaster? No idea. Maybe he drives. <laughs> oh, maybe he drives. He's the hunter from Left 4 Dead too. Okay. So we all know it's a video game. Is that your favorite video game? Is that why you chose to do the story? Yeah. It's the most easiest costume. So this costume, you made it yourself? Yep. How much do you spend on the costume? Around, it's quite cheap. Uh, 60 to 50 dollars. Uh. And you are? Uh, I'm cosplaying as uh, Ragnarok Shura. And where is that from? Is it from a game, uh, anime? Game. Online game. It's an online game. Yeah. So, I mean, bandages and all, it's a bit uh, scary. Have you ever had any wardrobe malfunctions? Wardrobe malfunctions? Um, do the bandages accidentally come off? Uh, previously I had a cosplay which doesn't have any costume clothes at all. It's totally it's just bandages. So uh, we have protection inside. I mean like tubes or safety pants. Think you've seen it all? Well, you can't beat Stephanie Lowe, who has participated in Cosfest every year since it started in 2001. And now as the president of the Singapore Cosplay Club, she's helping to organize it. So I see you actually dressed up, even as the president. So I mean, you're leading by example. Uh. That uh, we are doing the mascot today. Right. So the mascot is um, one important thing of Cosfest. Every Cosfest, we will have one mascot. Oh, so you're actually the mascot which is on the banner right there. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I used to take part in competitions until I became the organizer myself. I heard that you were actually uh, one of the contestants and you have actually done this for 10 years in a row. Uh, 
Yes, I have done this event, Cost Fest, for 10 years. Uh, in the first Cost Fest, it was more empty. You could uh, walk around in a very big costumes. Now it's very difficult to walk around in big costumes. And the venue spokesman agrees. This is the 10th year um, for the event. Uh, that's how downtown is. And so far, I think the event has grown. From a one-day event with over about, about 2,000 in 2002, to right now, we have over 13,000 today. So I think, you know, it's, it's a huge achievement. And um, it's hard to see, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a healthy platform, I would say, for people to express themselves freely and be able to indulge in a passion and interest that they have. Don't go away, as Razor TV hunts down more flamboyant cosplayers and gives out our very own awards to the sexiest, weirdest and darkest, all in the next clip.